Okay, Adam Furchin is obviously one of the best 198 pound lifters in the world. He's the owner of Elite Fitness and Personal Training up in um, Niagara Falls, New York. Uh, Fred Hatfield and I are actually doing a free seminar there May 20th at his gym. So if you're interested in coming and you don't have the sign up sheet you left, just post a comment in here and I can put up the link to that. Um, so we're starting off with Hatfield overloads here. I do think uh, Adam does need to get a tad deeper. He lifts in the USCPA and they do not play there. So um, on on from the Hatfields, he's going to split stance RDL. This is a great unilateral movement. It's going to obviously build glutes, hamstrings, lower back, things like that. And it's also unilateral, which has so many so many benefits and so many different people neglect that. So for this movement, you want to go to your torso is almost parallel to the floor and explode up, and he'll be able to do a lot more weight than that once he actually gets used to that. And from here, uh, we're going on to, um, to to pause squats here. So this is um, going to be a warm up. Um, we like to do these. So basically, what I always say about these pause squats like that is when you do the hat filled overload, you're going to really overload your thighs, and you're kind of setting yourself into the perfect squatting position. It's almost like cables because you can basically pull yourself through the sticking point. So that sort of has like continuous tension, it keeps them more upright style, just overloading the legs more which is great for Adam because um, he is more of a back squatter. He's one of the best deadlifters in the world at 198. He's pulled nearly 900, I mean, excuse me, 800 pounds there. So it, ma it makes sense. He's going to, you know, play to his strengths. Your body's pretty smart. So the flip side of that's what the Hatfield overload squat does when you hold the rack and you're actually pulling yourself up. The flip side of that is you have the regular safety squat here. We're not holding on anything. So the Hatfield overload squat allows you to circumvent weak points and that I mean that was a week that was a very lightweight first week back um, but what the Hatfield overload squat does it does allow you to circumvent weak points so you're able to because squatting you're obviously going to be limited by your weakest points of course or you know this chains as strong as the weakest link this removes the weakest link so you can actually overload the muscle with maximum of course you're not going to be able to do that when you're actually doing the meet so we want to switch back to a straight bar I mean that's a given however this kind of safety squat is sort of the opposite where one that one circumvents the weak weak point this one actually exposes the weak point so that's kind of like the big difference there and we're doing that as a precursor's warm-up to the trap bar deadlift okay so you know and trap bar trap bar deadlift so why in the hell the trap bar deadlift you don't do that in a meet well okay for first off you know i know it's sort of like the the end thing right now to you know squat 20 times a week and you know or hashtag squatting every day or whatever but that doesn't i don't i don't think that's to be best for long-term development and i mean think about it if you i mean even if you have some sort of like um if you have some sort of weakness and you or um you're overcompensating somehow and you keep doing that lift over and over what are you going to do you're going to develop compensatory movement pr patterns if you don't actually work weaknesses do it um you know isolation movements and all that kind of stuff so adam is a back puller straight up he does not drop his hips slow he's a guy that pulls a back his back is so strong so these um trap bar deadlifts are not only going to prevent some sort of overuse and like you know other sports they do different things in the off season you know russian olympic lifters used to play volleyball and stuff well anyways what the trap bar is going to do is not only prevent some sort of overuse type of thing and, and protect adam's back a little bit what it's also going to do is teach him how to get leg drive because even though you know, it's going to be better in your body type. Certain body types have a lower butt position in the start. It's just, I mean, it's just a fact of biomechanics. However, um, Adam still could, being that being said, he does pull better with a higher hip position. I do think he could benefit slightly from just getting his butt down a little bit. Okay. Now, farmer's walk. You know, farmer's walk is the ultimate, um, the ultimate functional mod modality from from the guy that's you know bouncing at the roughest beer halls and the you know the west side of Helsinki um, to the guy that's um, you know a, a minister it doesn't really matter if you're into any kind of functional training this is going to be it I mean you can't you know m you're picking up a heavy weight you're having to grip it without straps and not only that you're going to keep you're having to keep I mean look at that you're having to, the ultimate form of core stability while and plus you're moving it's not some kind of functional training where you're using you know 15 pounds on a bozo ball he's using very heavy weight there okay on to some good old meadows rows there that's the meadows row handle from elite fts uh people that have it like it um i guess uh, adam's liking his new his muscularity is developed in the mirror uh, he's looking at himself um 
Anyways, that's all right. And then Adam is going to be going up to 220. He, the 198 cuts have been wiping him out. And, uh, you know, do the same thing over and over and expect a different result, result is insanity. Adam's not insane. He's very intelligent. We discussed that. He's going up. Adam's already been one of the best at 198 in the world as he develops into 220. Mark my words, you, you guys should be very, very happy to see this because you are seeing someone special right near. You are seeing someone going places. And I, I love working with Adam. He's a ball buster and he quits at nothing.